We don't act on every thought we had because if we did, we'd all be in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> so this was helpful to Jane, but there was something else that was really difficult for Jane, and I felt a lot of compassion for her about it. And that was the judgment that she felt from people when she would be outside smoking a cigarette. The criticism from her husband. My answer to Jane was to be willing. And one of the ways I showed her to do that was with an exercise called, I am having the thought. So, one of Jane's thoughts before she had a cigarette was, I'm feeling a lot of stress right now. I really need a cigarette. So I asked her to add the phrase, I'm having the thought, like this. I'm having the thought that I'm feeling a lot of stress right now. I really need a cigarette. Then I asked her to add the phrase, I'm no... Let me tell you about my mom. My mom was 42 years old when I was born. And she started exercising for the first time in her life. She started by running around the block. And then she started doing 5K races. And that we'd be beyond the problem of smoking. Today, a billion people worldwide use tobacco. Tobacco and obesity are two of the most preventable causes of premature death. Solving these problems is like trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle. We engage in unhealthy behaviors because of our genetics, because of brain neurotransmitters,